Oops to any um, headphone users, I might want to be careful because the mic does get a little bit too close to my face, so it's a little bit loud. Sorry. Hello, children! My name's Ilir2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Victoria 2 with HBM Mod Russia. Yes, in the last episode, we finally declared war on the Ottoman Empire to cut them down to size, but France, for some stupid reason, decided to join in. And I hate them for it. Um, so another thing we could do in this war is actually pop another country out of them. You know, free Balkans. So we could choose Bulgaria, Greece, Montenegro, or Serbia. I'm going to try and do Bulgaria because that is the biggest country that can pop out of them, which is 52 war score. We're already at... Oh, no, wait. Oh, if we're at 50, we can't do it. Oh, that sucks. So who else should we do? So we have Montenegro or Serbia. Serbia is at 44. Montenegro is at 8. We could do Serbia. Let's do Serbia. It's already a country and it's not sphered by anyone. Why don't we sphere it? No, no. Well, we're already friendly with them. There you go. All right. So this war is going okay. Um, what, what, what score are we at? Yeah, 11%. Could do a little bit better. We are losing the, a couple battles down here in Anatolia, but we'll win eventually, I hope. Let's see what happens. All right, let's begin. Honduras defaults on their freaking money. Yeah, whatever. Relations and influence decrease. All right, so that battle was, this battle was won. Where are you going to? Gal Galati? Is that what, how you say? Galati? Yeah, it's a pretty good attacker. All right, and you need to keep moving out. You're going to be there tomorrow. Wait, what was that attack and... Oh, morale. Like, defense? 10%. Like, that's huge. All right. You are about to be slaughtered. I don't know why the uh, Papal States is um, allied with... The Ottomans, which makes zero sense, but whatever. All right, they're slaughtered. Are they ending here? Yes. Yes, come on. So close. And squish. Yay, squish. Oh, the Ottoman Empire ran away. Somehow. Let's kill them. All right, so we've taken over Istanbul, which means we are now at 17%. Has France... No, they haven't actually invaded me yet, so... Yay, I suppose. Right, and the Ottoman Empire is screwed. Wow, like, really screwed. Here, why don't you go down there? Just combine and go down there. I'll split you half later. We can now start increasing intellectuals in this land, in Kharkov. And a new technology. So let's do muzzle loaded rifles. I do need to make my military better. Again, don't want to fall behind everyone. Ooh, wow, we squished them there. Alright, cars. Going with all over to Vaughn. Let's go back there. What is this? The ruler of the East. State and government. Let's see, gain eight life rating and rename everything. Uh Kamchatka will gain cores. All right, I'll do it. In July of 1860, the port of Vladivostok, or ruler of the East, was founded near the Korean frontier. It would become a major Russian trade port and shipbuilding yard. Eventually, it would become the focal point of an intercont intercontinental railroad, as well as a major scientific, cultural, and industrial center in its own, in its own right. The Tsar dreamed that the city would become a hub connecting the west and the east. Perhaps the railroad to Vladivostok will eventually replace the Suez Canal as the bearer of goods and raw materials between the east and the west. No, it won't. Don't worry, it won't. <laughs> it won't. Don't, don't just stop. <laughs> All right, those guys are crushed. Split these guys in half. One goes over here. All right, Van, we slaughtered them. How many troops do you even have left? Not many. Oh, technically you have zero. These are all Egyptian troops, and Egyptian troops are uncivilized, of course. And we've won this war, for sure. As long as France doesn't decide to start walking in. 
kill them there. Or, nope, kill them there. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Minimum life rating decreased 10%. Let's go over here. And can we go over here yet? No. Here? Here? No. All right, Japan, are you at war? You are at war. Congratulations, Japan. How does it feel to be at war with yourself? Probably amazing. Can I colonize up here anywhere? Let's see. Uh, colonial map mode? Nope. What about you, Alaska? Nope. Alaska, you are still not a Russian state. Oh, and hey, the Confederacy, which is obviously doing horribly. horribly. Anyways, back to our, our war. Tensions dissipate. Okay, so we can't cross... Oh, yes, we can, actually. That's good. Tribes on. That battle is over. Move up here. Actually, wait, where are they going? Let's just um, finish off some of the armies and then go back and kill that army. And you're going to Plodviv. Actually, you go there. And you go all the way over there. There you go. No more armies for you, Papal States. Alright, in this battle, they are over, right? They're gone? No more? Yep. Sophia. You know, we could take Suez. Couldn't we? Egypt, add war goal. Well, we can't. I, I guess since they're, you know, a side character. Eh, whatever. Let's just screw over the Ottomans. Like we always have. No, they retook that land. How horrible. Alright, Serbia will now be in our, in our sphere. So definitely, definitely want to expand them. Go over there. Down here. And, oh, Battle of Batum is over. Let's retreat back there. There you go. Ah, oh, this battle, this war is going swimmingly. I'm honestly surprised they're not doing, or uh, um, France isn't doing anything. And wow, that's a lot of people. Let's spread these guys out. All right, that was over. Oh, and there's Francie Pants. How are you, Francie Pants? Probably doing well. Probably. Send one of you down there. Alright, Galliopoli. Or the heck, how, however the heck you say it. <laughs> I really don't know how to say any of these words. Tribes on, it's over. Uh, 25th of June, both of us. Just March, I guess. Oh, and we caught him. Paraguay, oh no. Well... Pay their debts, but of course I won't do anything because I don't care. It's Paraguay. Par Paraguay? 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 I don't know. One of the words. The Meiji Restoration. Mori clans. Uh, there you go. Imperial Japan has won. And now they've taken over Hokkaido. And we've destroyed the French. Awesome. But of course, like I said... Oh, the Ottomans are already ready to surrender. Um, Ottomans, we're going to free Balkans, Serbia. Only, we'll, we'll only gain two prestige. Are you kidding me? Fine, whatever. There, we're now going to free Serbia. All of Serbia. Which is quite a bit, isn't it? Yep. H how much land is that? All of Bosnia and southern Serbia. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit of land. Awesome. All right. And this battle is going swimmingly. What is it? Tunis? Yeah. Oh no, Tunis. Not Tunis. Anything but Tunis. Oh, we. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh Christ in heaven. No. <laughs> I was waiting for this to happen. Um, one of you, get back up here. Screw the Ottoman Empire. We need help. Now.
Um, yeah, you're going to be crushed, so disband. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck! I knew this would happen! Let's all march into that area. You guys, unify. There you go. Alright. Socialist in the Netherlands. Awesome. We want socialism. Finish these guys off here. We are losing quite a bit from these battles. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, can we get arrive there in time? 24th. 26th. Why don't you get? Yeah, you guys go down there. There, good enough for me, I'd say. Oh God, oh God. Still at thirty-seven percent. Still good. Uh oh, retreat. Ah, oh, six point one. Oh, and there's some there too. They're everywhere. Are you joking right now? They are not joking. It is not funny. Not funny at all. Uh, this is going to be a bloody battle. Uh, so war is very bloody. You, up here. Finish these guys off. You have ten times as many troops. Just kill anyone. Kill everyone. Vitolia. That battle is over. Oh, wow. They got slaughtered. Oh, God. Just finish one of them off. Good, you beat freaking Tunis. How fun. What's our war exhaustion at? 16%. Oh, God. All right, Pristina, that battle's over. Split these guys in half. Start spreading them out. Doing all that uh, attrition. Start destroying us. Fuck. Well, we lost all of Poland. Poland strong. Oh, we can create a, pr a protectorate in Turkmenia. Oh, right here. Right here. There you go. Yay! All colonizable land. Now colonized. Two Sicilies. Wants to unify. Uh, not unify, but ally. Hey, you want to join up in this war? Oh, very likely. So... Yes? Yay! Two Sicilies! You actually have some war... Uh, power. Score. Stuff. Let's go to Grondo, and then eventually up there. Can you please finish these guys off? What are you doing? Why aren't these guys dying? Where are you going? Vilnius? Where the fuck is Vil... Oh, up here. Oh, this is going horribly. I mean, they're in, they're entirely uh, infantry, so... Oh! Assume control of the Bukhara. That's uh, these guys. Yeah, of course. Great plan. Great idea. All right, Ottomans, they would not accept, even though you're 100% war, war exhaustion. Here, go up here. Finish these guys off. Uh, keep moving out... more up here. They, how many troops do you have, France? 182. Hey, France, white peace? No. They will not accept. Oh, God. Why is there so many? Oh, wow. That was a big... Oh, wow. That's actually a lot. Oh, wow. Big battle. Big deaths. Here, go down there. Help these guys out. Oh, oh, God. Oh, the humanity. I battled Istanbul. You guys down here. Oh, the uh, Papal States wants to surrender. Coolio. daddy -o. Oh, God. God. 
Damn. This battle's really taking a toll on us. On our people. Can we just finish these guys off already? Please. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> France, will you please surrender? No. Ottoman, surrender. No. <laughs> we only have this many troops left. <laughs> Help me. Ottomans. Oh, fuck you. That may have been our last chance for peace. <laughs> And I just said, fuck you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're gonna not win completely here. Hey, Ottomans, how about that piece? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna lose 30 prestige from that. But whatever. War is over. We win. We cut them down to size. Hooray! Okay, that was close. Probably shouldn't have added that extra war score. Seek a buyer for Alaska? Ew. And Treaty of Paris, what is this? Now that we have successfully asserted our authority over the Turks, it is time to con convene the powers of Europe and Paris and settle the matter as best we can. We're at peace with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans have surrendered. We gain 21 prestige. Wallachia will inherit Moldavia. Countries change to Romania. Relationship with Romania increase. Influence with uh, Ottomans increase. France loses in, um, the Ottoman Empire and they end their alliance with the Ottomans. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Look at that, Romania. In our sphere. Ha <laughs> ha. Success. And we'll not seek a buyer. Screw you, U.S. A lot of Dakotans. Dakota, eh? No, we want Alaska. Yay! We're somewhat successful. Demobilize. We lost a lot of military in that war. Oh, Serbia wants to ally. Yay! Successfulness! Oh, wow. Saxony is still being fought over. They're friendly. Uh-oh. Wait, Austria. Oh, they're neutral with Austria. Oh, they're, yep, they're gonna get it. What is this? The Polish Uprising of 1861. Ah, oh, of course. Right as we... Right as we lose everything. Alright, Poland. Let's see what you got. Suppress them in me. Alright, so after the country was... was came out of the war? I don't, I'm not sure how good grammar that is. Uh, oh, oh, wait. As... After our country has came out of the latest, latest war... Whatever. Grammar. Our subjects of the... In the Congress, Poland... Congress, Poland, and other parts of our empire are getting restless. The uprising began as a spontaneous protest, protest as young Poles against conscription in the Imperial Russian Army, blah, blah, blah. Suppress them, release Poland. Um, any problems as Poland to core, core gets ceded. The Russian Empire will gain all its core. And any problems as Lithuania, they gain national agitation. They Okay, so Congress gets presidential dictatorship, 80 leadership, and 10,000 money. And a ton of supplies. Wow. Or are we going to set them be free? Yeah, it's a horrible idea. War! To war, brothers and sisters! And they're already, they already have an army. Where's all my military? Here, here. Oh, wow. What's up with all the... Oh, what's up with all you being here? No, no, no. You're not a thing. Oh, hey, Republic of Israel. Yeah, that's what happens when you're Imperial Japan. Tensions dissipates. Okay, awesome. Everyone head over to Warsaw. How about that? No, oh, well, we're losing money. Tariffs. There you go. How many intellectuals do we have? Only 1.52 of the population, which sucks. Everyone head over to Warsaw. Yeah, fight them here. We cannot let them organize. Let them unify into one army. That won't happen. 
All right, Warsaw is now ours. The peasant reform. Hey, LMAO. All right. So we lose four infamy. Wait, what do we need to do for this? We're constitutional monarchy? No, we aren't. Or average militancy is at least four. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Uh, and there is... Or there is 20% liberal in the house. All right. So what does this do? Lose four infamy. Good. Political reform selected. Peonage. Good. Transylvania. Political reform selected. Peonage. All the following. There are farmers, laborers, serfs. Lose militancy. Gain consciousness. One of the following must be true. Produces coal, iron, oil. Blah, 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 blah. Pop change to laborers. So any serfs turn to laborers. Cool. There you go. Serfdom is no more. And Austria is at war with France. Why? French war... French war of Piedmontian freedom. Oh, Sardinia Piedmont is, the sphere, is under the sphere. Okay. Force the Russian curricula. Hooray! No more... Um, serfs. So we just have a lot of farmers and laborers now. That's good. Serfdom's stupid. Like slaves, but not as cool. <laughs> like slaves, but not as cool. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, we have to rebuild our army after this. And it won't be pretty. Of course, freaking Poland is just sitting around here doing nothing. Just like the Polish do. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's over. This war is over. We win. GG, Poland. GG. Who are we at war with? Uh, at war with the uh, Prussian Austrian brother war. Yep. Uh, no, screw all you people. Although, um, Aus Austria is totally going to get destroyed. Looks like Germany will form, guys. Uh, that's not good. We'll have to do something about it. Okay, Congressional Poland. There you go. Over and over. We will not seek a buyer. We'll never seek a buyer. Intervene eventually. And I think we should start rebuilding that army I was talking about. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two. And there you go. Awesome. Uh, new research. <laughs> Yugoslavia. Um, mm, no idea. No, can't do that. Integrate Lithuania and the Baltic states. No. No. Nationalism, nationalism and imperialism. Wait, why would I do that? No. Turn to third Rome. Oh, Moscow. Re uh, Restify the Baltic states. How do I do this? Revolution and counter-revolution. Okay, that's what I want. Or do I? I don't really have much technology as it is. And I probably want to start increasing some of this stuff. Yeah, let's do that. I want better industry. It's taking us years to research just one thing. It's not good. Oh, the rebellion is crushed. Traugart, the insurrection general, and the four other members of the Polish government were apprehended by Russian troops and executed at the Warsaw Citadel. The war in the course of which 650 battles, it wasn't, and skirmishes were fought, and 25,000 Polish killed. Do the Polish ever have a happy ending? Uh, it came to a speedy end in 1862. The Tsar passed laws and edicts to make the lands an in integral part of Russia's t territory and decided how to deal with the rebels. There will be harsh reprisals. Be lenient with them. All right. The Russian Empire will gain all its core. Um, con congressional Poland, all core provinces will get Russian Empire as a core. And they'll lose cores on all provinces. Treasury plus 137. All pops in Warsaw. Wait, they're Polish. And officers lose. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Ooh, we lost like 10,000 people. But hey, it's ours now. And only ours. Congressional Poland is not a thing. Ah, there we go. North, North German Federation. Uh-oh. 
getting dangerously close to forming Germany. Oh shit, they're friendly. Who are you allied to? Oh, you're too strong. They're too strong! Germany is too strong! But you know what? I think this is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya too, and hopefully in the next episode we can beat the living crap out of the Ottomans yet again. Never mind, North German Federation is allied. God damn it. North Germany, what the hell? Anyways, goodbye. I've been, I've been Ilya too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.